Hey everyone. So in this hands-on lab, I'm going to walk you through how you can use the continuous integration and continuous deployment um, using Azure Data Factory and Azure Data Bricks as an example to show you the full walkthrough of how you can design the solution to use CI CD to implement within your organization or on your test lab. I hope you're going to enjoy this demo. I'll see you on the next one. Till then, take care. So I'm going to log into the Azure DevOps services, provide the username and password and sign in. If you do get this message, click on continue. And that takes you to your Azure DevOps organization. And once you log in, um, on the left hand navigation pane under the user setting, there is an option called organization setting. Click on that. Within the organization settings on the left hand navigation pane, scroll down inside pipelines, click on settings and you're going to turn off the disable creation of classic build pipelines and we have to disable disable creation of classic releases pipeline so we're just going to do that for this project or exercise and let's go back to the organization so i'm going to take note of create a notepad and we're going to store that where we are going to do this project and now after making these changes, let's go click on this Azure DevOps and we are going to create a new project, give a name to the project. We are going to call it as CI CD demo and the visibility as private. And let's click on create a project. So now you can see that on the left hand side, there are quite a lot of options available for us. Boards, repos, pipelines, test plans, artifacts, etc. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see there is project related settings as well. So let's click on project settings. Let's go and find Azure DevOps under project settings. Scroll down on the right hand side, you can see Azure DevOps services. And this is where you would be able to turn on or turn off features. So if when you create these options, Azure boards or uh, repos are off, this is where you can come and turn on so that you can see that on the navigation pane. So for us, it is already on, so it's fine. Um, let's go back to the main page. So I'm going to click on the CI CD project we just now created and click on repos. In the main page, um, under the CI CD demo, scroll down till you see initialize the main branch with the readme or git ignore. Click on initialize. The next task, what we are going to do is we are going to generate a personal access token. So in the right hand corner uh, at the top of the navigation button, you can see user settings. So click on user settings and select personal access tokens. And here you can click on new token. So here give a name for the new token. So I'm going to give it as repo access token. Uh, in terms of scope, um, I'm going to give it as full access so you can change it based on your requirement and click on create. So that's going to create the access token. All right. So you can see that on the success page, you can see the token. So I'm going to copy the token value and we will use that for later. Now let's go and configure the Azure data factory um, to use the Azure repos kit. So let's go to the Azure portal. So I'm going to go to portal.azure.com. Since I have signed in with the right accounts, I don't have to provide additional user accounts. So I already have Azure Data Factory resource created. So I'm just going to call that out. Select the resource, which is the Azure Data Factory resource. So within that Azure Data Factory, scroll down and click on Launch Studio. So now we are in the Azure Data Factory Studio. On the left hand navigation pane, um, click on the Manage button. So in the Source Control section, click on Git Configuration. So here um, you have an ability to create or configure a repository. So click on Configure. So in the Configure a repository, select the drop down option and select Azure DevOps Git and make sure it is selected as cloud and click on continue. Um, under DevOps organization, select the right organization, um, select the project name, we created CI CD demo. 
repository name again ci cd demo collaboration branch i'm going to retain as click on create new i'm going to enter main click create oh there is already a repo so i'm just going to select the branch as main and hit apply so we're going to leave this open so we're going to come back to this uh a report page again now let's go and create a feature branch so to do that let's go to a new tab go to dev.azure.com in the project pane uh, select your ci cd demo on the left hand navigation pane um, select repos and within that select branches in the branches page create a new branch um, give a name i'm going to call it as some feature issue some random number we're gonna based out in main and click on create now let's go back to azure data factory studio we're gonna develop and debug the pipeline so on the left hand navigation pane click on the author button in the upper left hand corner of the page select the main branch select the main branch and within that filter click on feature issue one two three four branch features now created now click on this plus button and click on this pipeline and again within that select pipeline so in the properties tab inside the pipeline give the name for the pipeline i'm gonna call it as copy pipeline and in the activities pane click on this expand and move and transform and drag this copy data into the pipeline canvas. Now let's go and configure the source for the copy data activity. So now select the copy data and at the bottom of the screen, you can see some general sync mapping, click on source. So I'm gonna expand this and under the source data set, click on new. In the new data set dialog, we are gonna select the Azure blob storage so let's see if we can find azure blob storage here yep i can see azure blob storage um, select that and click on continue and next what we're going to find is in the format dialog box uh, we're going to find delimited text all right so select the delimited text and click on continue so provide the name i'm going to call it as csv data um, under the linked devices click on select click on new under the name i'm going to call it as dev blob storage give a description to identify what it is provide us linked service to the dev blob storage authentication type we're going to retain as account key and let's toggle this to Azure Key Vault. And under Azure Key Vault linked service, select this option, click on new. You're gonna rename this Azure Key Vault and say that Key Vault Service Dev. Select the existing subscription. In the Azure Key Vault, we're gonna select Dev Keys, which I already created before, and authentication method as system assigned managed identity. Now let's leave this here right now before creating. We'll come back to this later. Now let's go to the Azure portal or let's click on the Azure Cloud Shell here itself on the top that opens the Cloud Shell. Um, I'm gonna select PowerShell, the subscription field, select the existing subscription and click on apply. Now the Cloud Shell is authenticating to our Azure instance. Now let's try to connect and connect to the Azure account and provide the code. Click next. All right, so now we have connected. Now let's enter the command to connect into our key vault. I'm going to enter another command to create a secret. Now the secret is created. Now the next command, what I'm going to run is going to configure the production key vault. Let's space the command and run the production key vault. All right, so now that we have done this part via PowerShell, 
so what we technically done is we created this uh, Azure Key Vault, created the secret, and we linked this secret to the Azure Blob Storage. Now let's go back uh, 